In order to establish the framework of your rope web, you'll first need to install eye screws in the four corners of a controlled space. The dimensions of the space seen before you now are five and a half feet wide and seven feet tall. Lace a rope through all four eye screws, starting and ending on the left side of the rig. Your support lines now have a descending end and an ascending end. On the descending end, tie a double overhand knot about three feet from its tip. On the ascending end, also tie a double overhand knot, only make this one at the tip of the rope. Now bring the dangling three foot end of your descending rope down and through the loop below. Then bring the rope back up and through the loop above. Pull the rope firmly, cinching your support line tightly. Tie the rig off with half hitches, one after another, each layered on top of the one below. Your finished frame should look something like this. A rectangular square of tight rope looped through four eye screws. What remains of the piece will require a lot of rope, so make sure you have at least 100 feet on hand. Start by tying your rope end to the top loop of your trucker's hitch. This tie-off can be done many ways. My example is of a double loop slip knot, firmly cinched once completed. From the loop of your trucker's hitch, draw the rope out one-third the distance from your top left eye screw to your right. At this point, tie a cow hitch, first wrapping your rope end over the front of your support line. Around the front side of your rope, back around the back side of your support line and then through the loop created. Cinch your cow hitch firmly making sure to take up all the slack in the line. Now draw your working end up to the two-thirds point of your support line. At this point tie off another cow hitch just as before. From here draw your working end to the one-third point of your support lines between your top right and your bottom right eye screw. Then tie off yet another cow hitch. Continue this process, tying a cow hitch every one-third and two-third distance between your eye screws until you circle and reach a third of the distance to your starting point. Your rope line should be taking on the shape of a stop sign or an octagon. The web starts to form with this, the second rotation of rope. Begin by drawing your rope end through the top of the trucker's hitch then up to the midpoint of the adjacent triangle's base. Tie a half hitch as shown. Now draw the rope to the apex of the next triangle and tie another hitch. From here you can continue on alternating half hitches at midpoints and apexes of adjacent triangles until you circle round again. The third rotation starts where the second rotation ended. First tying a half hitch and then drawing the rope to the midpoint of the adjacent triangle's base. There, tie another half hitch. From here on, continue tying half hitches, this time moving from midpoint to midpoint of the base of adjacent triangles. The fourth rotation on follows just as the third rotation did one half hitch after another tied at the midpoint of adjacent triangles. Once you've performed a sufficient number of rotations, completely up to you, secure the web by tying the piece off with a series of half hitches, one on top of the other. <laughs>